Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Mutate. Uh, this is a torn and restored trick. It's not your typical torn and restored. Uh, you take the card and you tear it just a little bit, just a little bit down the side, kind of like it shows there on the picture. And then with just a little flick, the spectator is able to watch the tear mystically disappear and you're able to hand out a completely restored card. You wanna see what it looks like? This is it. This trick is being released by Magic Tau. Now, you probably wanna know why I'm holding it so close to the camera. Well, because it's actually this big. Uh, this is what you get. So first question, you know, we always ask about all of our Magic reviews. The first question is always, what is in the box? This is the box. This is what you get. Um, it's this tiny little piece of folded paper. And then inside is the gimmick, or I should say gimmicks, uh, that you will use uh, to do the effect. Now, of course, that means you're not getting a DVD because a DVD wouldn't fit inside this. Uh, so you're getting a code inside this for a download. So is it what I thought? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not what I thought at all. Uh, but, you know, to be honest, I really didn't know what to think. Watching the video trailer, it, it does kind of have a real mystical, magical uh, appearance. And so without seeing the entire effect from beginning to end, uh, watching it in an edited commercial, it was kind of hard to decipher what actually was happening. And so, uh, no, it wasn't what I expected at all. So how are the angles on Mutate? Uh, there are some angle issues. Uh, there's um, some three-dimensional aspects to this so that you have to keep the card uh, in one position and your audience uh, in one position so that you're not, you're not casting shadows. Um, so I think you'll have to be both wary of your angles and wary of your audience management with Mutate. Can it be inspected? Uh, there is some cleanup. However, you will be able to hand the card directly out. You will not have to switch the cards. The card does not have to go back to the deck before you hand it out. You will be able to hand the card out right after the restoration and have it be completely examined. Is it well taught? Uh, the DVD isn't actually taught by uh, Arnell. Uh, the DVD is taught by Chris Webb. Uh, Chris Webb goes over very basic moves that you're all familiar with. Okay, this is, not, this is not an earth shattering magic trick in the card force or anything like that. All of the trick part, it is very basic. The only part you're really gonna have to learn is the torn and restored aspect of the trick. And so that's the part that requires the practice. But um, Chris goes over just the actual, you know, the magic portion, the first part, the interaction between the spectator. He goes over that very quickly and he's kind of relying on you to know uh, how to do a lot of that. The video is only 14 minutes long. And so a good portion of that video is um, on just how to do the torn and restored aspect. So coming up with the routine, uh, performing it for our live audience, that's gonna be um, on you to come up with. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Hey, Magic Tau always makes really good videos. They are always done on HD, they're always beautiful, they're always well shot. I think you're getting exactly what you've seen before uh, from their company. Is it well made? Well, as you can probably guess, uh, there's some uh, part on you to make it. However, 
um, it's not very much. It's very simple. Uh, it's not really so much that you're doing arts and crafts, is that you're just kind of putting it together and taking it apart every single time. I don't want to give too much away. However, um, the gimmick that you're getting, or the magic thing, I'll say, the magic thing that you're getting, uh, will probably deteriorate over time or be destroyed over time. I don't want to use the correct word because again, that would give it away. Um, and so you're gonna have to take your magic thing to some place to find more magic things similar to it so that one day you can make your own magic thing and you'll be able to make your own magic things going forward. Does that make sense? Okay, so even though it doesn't require any arts and crafts for you at the very beginning, you just need to understand that your magic thing will kind of fall apart and you'll have to make new ones, all right? How much practice does it require? Um, anybody who's familiar with magic should already be familiar with the moves required. This is not difficult at all. It should be pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Like I said, you're just gonna be practicing your angles, practicing your audience management, and you should be good to go. All right, so what are the positives to mutate? Obviously, it's a very creative torn and restored. It's creative in its appearance, and it's creative in its solution, okay? So I think it's twofold. I think the spectators will get to see a trick that we don't, we, we never get to see, and you as a magician will be able to perform something that you don't normally do. This isn't your normal torn and restored. Um, it's almost another trick. I can't tell you what it is, but it's almost another trick that's completely different. Uh, and kind of added to this, and, and, and it's done in a very creative way. I think there's massive props to Arnell for putting this together. I think it's a highly creative effect. All right, so what are the negatives? Like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These don't have to be the negatives that you see. These are just the negatives that I saw. Okay, so the gimmick does have a few tells, all right? It has a few tells, so that um, if revealed or shown, or done incorrectly, it would almost give away that you're not really doing what you're doing. Because, spoiler alert, you're not doing real magic. <laughs> okay, this is not real magic, it's a given. And so there are a couple of tells uh, from this that you'll just have to be a little wary of. How much setup and reset is there? I think anybody who's already familiar with the TNR understands that uh, there's always some. And uh, with this one, I think uh, the, the setup is very simple. It's really simple. In fact, you would be able to do it walking from one table to the next. That said, you will also need a duplicate card to hand out every single time because this is probably one of those effects where you're gonna give away the card at the end. Even though it's not signed, okay, even though it's not signed, you probably are not gonna use the same card over and over again because obviously you can't tear a new card over and over again. You will need to tear a card every single time you do this trick. So you're gonna need duplicates in advance. Okay, so is it worth your money? Is it worth your money? It's $25. This, okay, this is $25. Um, the gimmicks that you get are handmade. That is a plus. But just the fact that the video itself is a download, you don't get a DVD, so you're, you're not getting much here either. Uh, it, and the video is only 14 minutes long. For me, for my money, for $25, I would have appreciated more video. I would have appreciated more live performances. I would have appreciated more like real world settings. Like show me what this looks like on the street. Show me what this looks like in a restaurant. Show me what this looks like in parlor. Like give me some more examples. Show me, give me way more tips. Give me way more advice. I mean, you created this effect. So like Arnell, he, he speaks at the beginning and he says thank you for purchasing. And at the end he says thank you for purchasing. But he doesn't offer anything of his own mind. Like this is his effect and I would have appreciated more from him. I mean, I appreciated uh, uh, Chris Webb's instruction, absolutely but I would have appreciated more from Arnell as the designer, as the creator, to say like, you know, this is what you do, this is how it goes, here's me doing it, but that's just me. Um, I would have appreciated a little bit more than a 14 minute video and a little tiny pamphlet, okay? Who would like this? I think anybody that likes TNRs would like this. I think anybody that has card magic, uh, I think people that would like a very simple, easy, highly visual TNR would love this. Uh, if TNRs haven't been your thing, just because you're not into the folding origami mess of it and they've all felt a little fumbly, this one's not fumbly. This one is not, that's not even a real word. Uh, this one, but it, this one's not that complicated. And I think that uh, if you're already familiar with very simple 
uh, forcing and switches, I think that this would be highly up your alley. All right, so that is new tape from Arnell Renegado and Magic Dow. I would like to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could review it for you. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.